Hello guys, welcome to my latest video. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use a PC emulator, or PCM for short. So, um, what's the purpose of this video? So, this video, I figured it would be a nice idea to make because uh, actually there are a very few options to play games. If you have some game, some obscure and, you know, whatever game you have, that it's pretty old, it's from the you know Windows 95 or Windows 98 era uh, and the game hasn't been ported uh, for Steam or for GOG yet you know GOG.com uh, then that game is pretty much fucked up because it doesn't have any means to be played in modern operating systems so um, I, th I found out that this way is the most uh, comprehensible other than if you, you have to have actually a real computer, a real old Windows 98 uh, PC. If you don't have the possibility, the possibility to have a, a real computer, and you just have a you know a modern computer with Windows 10, for example, it, and if you want to play Windows 98 games on 95, then you have this option, which is very viable, and it's essentially a virtual machine emulator. So why PCM and why not VirtualBox or why not uh, VMware? So uh, as you may know, VirtualBox is pretty much the most popular, uh, you know, virtual machine emulator along with VMware. The problem with uh, VirtualBox is that um, it doesn't really support, you know, Windows 88, 98 or Windows 95. I mean, it does support it because you can actually install the ad operating system in that um, emulator. Actually, my my last video I was talking about that, uh, uh, you know, installing Windows 98 in VirtualBox. But if you want to play games, you're going to have a very bad time because, you know, VirtualBox doesn't really support you. It doesn't have the guest additions, uh, you know, package for those old operating systems. It just have the, the, you know, the guest additions available just for Windows XP or Windows 7 or Windows Vista and so on. But for the old operating systems, it doesn't have that. So you won't be able to use your video card with those, you know, with those um, old Windows. But this is not the case. With this emulator, you will be able to emulate, you know, two very popular video cars of that time, of the mid-90s, which were uh, Voodoo 1 and Voodoo 2. So uh, if you are able to emulate those, you will be able to play uh, f uh, games with 3D graphics. Keep in mind that this emulator is not perfect, so um, you will encounter some graphic issues, some graphic glitches, but, you know, it's better than nothing, right? So we're going to start with this emulator. So we're going to go here into the official web page. Um, as you can see, these are all the updates that the emulator has suffered so far. And if you notice it, um, you know, the updates are very slow. So, you know, the latest version is this one, which is um, the version 15. And the last version was version 14, obviously, but from the, a year ago. So each single update seems to be released, you know, one by year. So for now we have the version 15 just go to downloads and download it for whatever operating system you have windows or linux so once you have to this um emulator downloaded just gonna open it and you'll have something like this if you just download the emulator here you'll see that you will need the roms in order to you know emulate the old machines but um you'll you'll notice that all this is going to be completely empty but I actually made a compilation, a lot of, uh, you know, bin, bin files of a lot of ROMs, and they are actually here. So if you go into my webpage, I'm probably going to upload this into my webpage, so you will be able to download the, the emulator along with the ROMs included. So once you have the ROMs installed inside the emulator package, we're going to ex execute the emulator itself now. So you will be greeted with this very, uh, you know, minimalistic uh, window. And we're going to create a machine now. We're going to go in here, in new, and type whatever name of the machine you want to give it. So 98 is going to be the example. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to go in here and choose whatever motherboard you want. So we're going to go and select these Shuttle Hot 557. We're going to go with an Intel, and uh, we're going to go into, I recommend you to use whatever two of, uh, you know, whatever of these two options, the MMX 200 or 250. 33. We're going to go with this one. And uh, basically here you will be able to select the RAM. The problem with this 
version of the emulator is that it doesn't allow you to go any up higher than 128. So if we click here, you'll see that we're not able to change it at all. But if we go down, we, act, we can, but 128 megabytes is still very, 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 you know, it's very low, even for these types of, com of all computers. So uh, we're going to try something later. So we're going to go here and we're going to select the video card. Uh, so we're going to select S3 Verse D DX. We're going to go and click in Voodoo Graphics and we're going to go in here in Settings. Here we're going to choose, um, you want to choose Voodoo 2 and obviously the, the megabytes is going to be 4 and 4 and OK. Now next step is going to be selecting the sound card. Believe it or not, computers in the 90s needed actually sound cards. Um, nowadays, all the motherboards include sound. If you want a sound card, you can buy them, but they are pretty much useless unless you have a sound studio or something like that. But for normal users, just motherboards are enough. But in that time, you need uh, you, you needed some sound card. And specifically, we're gonna choose Sound Blaster 16, and um, so that's pretty much it. We're going to go into the drives here and select, um, you know, floppy drive here, 1.44 megabytes. Here we're just going to disable it because we don't have to use it. And here we're going to create the hard drive itself. So here is just select C unit. We're going to go in new and select whatever path you want to take it with this, um, you know, whatever name you want to give to the actual hard drive that we're going to create of the operating system. I'm going to save it inside here. I'm going to name it uh, 98 operating system. So now select whatever size of the of the hard drive you want. So I'm going to uh, select, you know, 2000 megabytes, I mean 2 gigs, and OK, and just wait until this is done. So now we just, stand, uh, we just uh, created the hard drive. We're going to create a CD-ROM drive, uh, CD drive. So we're going to go and select D drive and select CD-ROM. And we're pretty much done with that. We're going to go into the mouse uh, configuration. I prefer two bottom mouse PS2 version. And, um, you know, joysticks, I don't use them. And also, network car, I think it's useless because it doesn't really work. Um, I, I didn't um, make it to work, you know, internet with this emulator. So just click on OK. And you'll see your newly created virtual machine here in the list. So now all you're going to do is go and play, and uh, you'll see that the computer is going to fire up. But obviously, it will not have any operating system, so we have to install it now. So now, before doing anything, uh, we're going to go and click in Video, Resolution, and Resizable, so you can change the size of, these, um, of this computer. And also, uh, a good detail to keep in mind is that if you click inside the computer, you'll notice that the mouse has disappeared because it actually is integrated inside the emulated computer. So in order to free your mouse, um, you just have to press Control and End. Control End. And you'll see that the mouse has reappeared. So yeah, basically before doing anything, we're going to just click and shut down the computer. And uh, we're going to close this. And we're going to go into the emulator folder again. We're going to go into configs. And we're going to try to upgrade the RAM and see if it works. We're going to go inside our own configuration file. And we're going to see this line, which is memory size. And we're going to change it somewhere around, um, you know, kilobytes. So uh, 510,000 kilobytes. So hopefully we'll have, like, 500 uh, megabytes of ROM now. Uh, let's see if it works. So now we're going to uh, execute the emulator again and uh, we're going to play the computer again. So as you can see here, the memory is recognized. I don't know if, you actually, if it's actually going to work, but at least the memory is displayed there. So now we're going to wait until the computer just um, says that we don't have a, uh, you know, an operating system here. This, this boot failure, insert system disk and whatever. So we're going to go into disk. We're going to change drive A and we're going to select the, boost di the boot disk. So, um, yeah, this is not good. Yeah, whatever. So we're going to go into um, this boot disk Windows 98 second edition. We're going to insert it. And once you insert it, just go and system and control alt del so your computer just restarts. So now um, 
we should be greeted with some options. So now it's going to read the virtual floppy. This computer is taking some time. Yeah. So now we're going to select option one. Make sure to select start computer with CD-ROM support. And now you have to wait a couple of seconds until you're able to type something. So um, you'll see all these kinds of, uh, you know, computer, you know, stats and stuff like that. And once you have the ability to type, you'll be able to type some things. So I just want to wait a couple of seconds. So now we are able to type. So we're going to type FDisk. So once you type FDisk, um, we're going to type yes, option one, option one, and yes. So now we, that we did that, just uh, hit in escape, and we're going to go into system and, uh, you know, control Adele again. So the computer is going to restart once again. So we're going to wait until we are able to type again. Just wait until the computer is ready. This is going to take a couple seconds. Start computer with CD-ROM support, just select that option. And uh, we should be able to type something now in a couple of seconds. Come on. You know, this is not the fastest computer ever, especially considering this is a Pentium MMX 233 with 500 megabytes. So cope with that. So now we just have to format, just type format space C. Now um, it's going to ask you yes and just wait until the computer is virtually formatted. So I'm not really sure if that modification that we made in the beginning of the video about the you know the RAM upgraded uh, upgrading actually took some effect because as as far as I can see it actually works almost the same just for now uh, as if we just chose you know 128 megabytes so um, I don't really see the difference but yeah we're gonna wait until it reaches 100 uh, percent. So we are just there. Okay. All right. So it's going to ask you also to, if you want to just put some name, that's stupid. We're going to wait until, yeah, just hit enter. And now we're going to say C. C and uh, we're going to go and eject the, you know, the floppy. We're going to just eject it. I'm going to go into CD-ROM and uh, make sure it's selected into image and go to load image. And uh, we're going to go into the third step, which is the operating system itself. Here I have Windows Millennium and Windows 98. I'm going to choose Windows 98 second edition. And uh, we're going to go straight into the, into the CD-ROM. So we're going to type E two points. And then after that, you're going to just type setup. Enter. And now uh, the operating system itself is going to be installed. So now we're going to choose exit. And, um, you know, the installation of the operating system of Windows 95, 98 is going to start. So we're going to just click on continue. There is the serial number because it's going to ask you sooner or later to type the serial number of the operating system. So uh, here it's next. Now we have to wait until this is done. This could take some minutes actually. It's pretty, it's pretty annoying.
Okay, so here you can choose whatever. I usually uh, choose custom, and then once we are here, I should select desktop type themes because I like you know retro themes. And then next, and uh, make sure to name whatever name your computer want to be. But I just click next, 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 next. Uh, here it's going to try to recognize. Uh, uh, make sure to uh, just click in cancel um, and next. Because otherwise, if you had actually not ejected the floppy disk, this shit is going to override your floppy disk and it's going to modify your boot, your boot disk. So make sure, as we made in the tutorial before, just eject the floppy before installing the operating system. So make, just make sure about that. So now um, we just have to wait until the operating system files are copied into the C unit. So this could take some a while. Here you can see the the classic loading bar. So we just have to wait a couple of seconds. Okay, so now once that um, the installation is done, just click and restart now. The computer is going to restart itself as you could expect. And um, we're going to wait until the computer is already restarted and the, uh, you know, the setup procedure resumes. So now we have the classic and glorious Microsoft Windows 98 getting ready to run Windows for the first time. Oh. Okay. Uh, and uh, there... Oh, fuck. So, um... Oh. Okay, let's wait until the operating system is done. So you just have to name whatever name you want to use. Next. Oh, fuck. Access the agreement. And uh, you just type the, you know, the serial key number. VP9VVJW7QAMH. J six W. I have no idea if I had pronounced those letters correctly. J K four seven R M two K G J. Okay, so now we're gonna click in next and uh, you know finish, and we're finally you know we are ninety eight percent finished installing Windows ninety eight. That was just a bad joke. Okay. Alrighty. Just wait until Windows 98 initialize the driver database. It should also take some couple of seconds. Hopefully it's going to be pretty quick. Now it's just recognizing the mouse and all the hardware with all the plug and play devices and stuff. Okie dokie. Just wait.
Okay, guys, so we're almost done. Um, the hardware detection procedure is almost uh, detected. Uh, fuck. Okay, yes, restart the computer now, and we now should be able to use Windows 98 miraculously. And now the second phase of this video is going to be about installing the drives, the drivers. So, um, yeah, here 98, Windows 98 is working now. And uh, we're going to have to install the drivers now. So, oh, fuck. Okay, so let's just wait until the hardware is set up. I guess we're going to have to wait a couple more seconds. Okay guys, so finally the operating system seems to be installed now after several, you know, restarts and stuff. We are finally ready to enter the realm of Windows 98. 
<sighs> so now, um, yeah, finally we are inside the operating system, so it's just clicking OK. It's going to recognize all the hardware, all the monitors, all this virtual stuff that, you know, makes this computer happy. So, yes. I'm going to... All right, so the operating system should be ready and running, but as you may notice, the you know the video is not already installed. Let's see if, if the sound works. Yep. So at least the sound works, but if you go to properties, you know the settings. Um, you know it's gonna be just in 16 bits. I we're gonna just try and and modify this crap. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna just change the resolution here. Just a bit like though. Okay, so um here you're gonna try and install the you know the, the, the drivers now. We're gonna exit the these um this window by clicking in control control end and um I'm gonna close this and then we're gonna go into a CD ROM uh, we're gonna try and install the drivers. Um, first thing you want to install first is this shit. So we're going to go and close it. We're going to go into disk, change drive A, and go into the driver's folder. And uh, we're going to install this this one that says CD-ROM driver for floppy. So now we're going to just open a DOS. I'm going to go here. Uh, DOS prompt. And we're going to navigate into A. And now, uh, once we are inside the floppy, we're going to type setup. Okay, so uh, once we're done, we're going to insert the other, the other uh, you know, CD. We're going to go into eject the drive bay. We're going to go in this time into the CD-ROM, load image. And we're going to go into drivers. And we're going to go into mouse for CD image. We're going to go now into the E drive now. I mean, it's not the E drive, it's the D drive. All right, so now we are just installed the mouse driver, so we're going to go exit once again. We're going to go into the CD-ROM, load a new image, and we're going to install the sound drivers. The sound seems to be working, but just for, to make sure, just insert a sound driver, go to uh, my computer. The, you know, the image should be recognized here into the D unit. Double click on it. That pretty sweet uh, sound should be played and now next next everything next you know the deal full installation next and now just wait until the installation is done okay and just click next and yes so yeah whatever uh, I'm gonna restart later and okay Okay, so now that you just installed that, the last thing that we need is just install the video, the you know, the video graphic, the Voodoo graphics. So we're going to go in once again. We're going to mount a new CD-ROM, load image, and this is the Voodoo 2 drivers for CD image. We're going to go into the computer, and we're going to go into the CD-ROM here. Now we're going to copy this folder here. You also have the drivers for the C free for the S free version DX, but I don't think it's necessary. Also, you have the Direct uh, X um, seven. Keep in mind that I think the latest version for Windows ninety eight second edition was the Direct X uh, nine point zero C, I think. But you can install whatever Direct X uh, version you want. So, but we're not gonna do that because we're gonna install a game that already has that uh, Direct X. So now we're going to install Voodoo now, 
And this is kind of tricky the first time you know, but like learning how to drive a bicycle, uh, once you learn, it's going to be, you know, there forever. So we're going to execute this Voodoo 2. We're going to click in OK. It's going to extract itself into the Windows 10. You're going to choose whatever, well, you know, folder you want, but in this case, just use the default location. And uh, now we're going to go into Start, I mean, Computer, Properties, and uh, Device Manager. And here we'll see this unknown PCI multimedia video device. Just click in Properties here. Uh, we're going to go into Drivers. We're going to go into Update Drivers. Next, um, search for a better driver. Um, untick the floppy and tick the specified location. Browse, Cancel. And then we're going to go into C and we're going to go to uh, Windows and Temp. The, the, you know, the location where it was extracted. And uh, here in OK. And the next is going to look for the drivers here. You can see that it's it has found the Voodoo 2 drivers here. Next. And, you know, the drivers should be installed now. Uh, yeah, you can, yeah, yes, whatever. So yeah, uh, the computer is going to install the Voodoo 2 drivers and once it's done you have to restart the computer. So now once we restart the computer everything's going to look much prettier. So uh, finish this and restart the computer. So now the computer is going to be restarting and uh, let's see how it looks now. Just wait until the operating system shows as usual. Okay, as you can see, uh, the colors look much better now. Oh. The colors look uh, much better. That's probably because it's in a, in a, in a better bits uh, resolution. If you go to settings, you can change now to 24 bits. Apply, yes. And voila, here we are in the operating system. So now we're going to we're going to try some games. Um we're going to try, um, you know, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, which is a great game from the era. We're going to try and go in CD-ROM, load image, and I'm going to load the Mortal Kombat Trilogy image here and see if it works. Let's see, so as you can see here, the game it works. I'm going to install DirectX. Uh, no, okay, it's already installed. I, I guess the Voodoo 2 drivers already have the DirectX drivers. Now we're going to install the game itself. It's pretty quick. And after we install the game, we're going to see if it actually works fine. So next, next, next. Uh, I, it, this game actually obliges you to put whatever company name you have as if everybody in the existence of the planet had a company. Next. And uh, yeah, the game should be installed now. Next, next. So now once this is done, I'm going to make a little gameplay demonstration how the game works. Okay, fine. So the game has been installed now, and it's creating the icons. And make sure to have the CD-ROM of the Mortal Kombat trilogy mounted, because otherwise the music is not going to work. So just remember that this game is very picky with you know the background music. 
it actually reads the background music from the game it doesn't save the, the music in, in the computer so we're gonna try and see if it works we're gonna go into Mortal Kombat Trilogy and execute Mortal Kombat Trilogy Windows yes auto detect it's gonna make some weird colors and stuff and OK and there we go Superb. Well done. Okay, guys, so as you noticed, the game works perfectly fine. And now for uh, more demonstrations, I'm going to install two more games that are actually pretty hard to make them to work in modern operating systems. And I found the only way to make it work is using this method, you know, installing Windows 98 from PCM. So now I'm going to install Total Mania or Total Mayhem uh, and also Explore. Okay, so the game is already installed and we're going to see how to play this shit. Okay, so we're going to close this. There's a little thing you're going to do about this game. We're going to go into Mania here. And um, we're going to go into Settings. Just make sure to select this option. Affirmative. Yes, sir.
All right, so now we're gonna install Explorer, and I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day. Okay, so we are done installing this, and we're going to see some gameplay of this game, just really quick. Um, not sure where it was installed, but let's see if it's here. Explore. Okay, let's play it. Well, the intro is pretty kick-ass, you have to give it that. We're gonna go, yes, new game. This game was a similar game, like Diablo. Yeah, let's go. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video. It was pretty long, so I'm gonna just cut the different uh, loading uh, you know installation bars so just to make the video shorter and I hope you like the video we'll, you will be able to find all the downloads required for this tutorial inside my forum as always you know on grabsoftnet.com if you go here grabsoftnet.com if you go to forum you will be able to find in hacking games here the thread about this uh, tutorial so I hope you like it see you next time bye